Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and uh, today I want to talk about the Fast Track Reporting Program. And before I even start this video, let me know how you guys feel about this program down in the comments below. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know what this is. So if you don't know what this is, just keep watching. I'm gonna explain it, and then you know, then you can leave your opinion. I just want to hear your opinion on this. Um, I I feel like I don't mention it enough, but a lot of these videos are mostly just me giving my opinion, and I'm open to other people's opinions. I've changed my mind before over other people's opinions, so it's not like I am completely 100% firm standing on this stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, that's really what this is all about. Like these videos, they're mostly just you know we share how we feel, and you know we just have a conversation out of it. Um, anyway, basically what this program does is. Oh, hold on. Actually, I want to give my opinion first. Wait. No, I'll tell you what it does first. Okay, basically, um, if you haven't read the post right here by now, um, basically, um, these are for people who have accurate reports. Their reports get prioritized over others, meaning that, uh, you know, they just skip the queue, I guess, if there is a queue for reports or something. Um, now, I'm going to tell you guys my opinion on it. I'm kind of in between, and this is for a number of reasons. Um, I'm going to start off with the good reasons first. Now, first of all, this mitigates the bots, like, you know, report bots, um, because I know those are a major issue. You have, like, someone getting reported, like, 15 million times, for example. That, that's obviously exaggerated, but you get the point. Someone just report bots someone, um, and it's very easy to just be like, well, this guy has a million reports, let's just ban him, you know? So it's like, if uh, you're accurate, you kind of, your reports kind of take priority over other reports, and... Uh, I don't know. Other than that, I, I want to also talk about the negatives. And also, I want to make a little diagram showing you guys basically what it looks like in case you're confused. Okay, so um, let's just say that this long line right here is the report. So I'm just going to put an R for reports. Ignore my horrible handwriting. So this is an R right here, okay, for reports. And this is the reports. Now I'm going to change colors so we can follow along. Okay, so these are normal reports. So I'm just going to put N here for normal, normal reports. Um, right, and then we're gonna put a blue line, a bright blue line, um, and these are the fast track reports. I'm horrible at writing with a mouse. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, fast track reports. Okay, <laughs> Jesus, I'm horrible at this. Okay, so fast track reports, and then these are the moderators. Like basically, these reports reach the moderators. Like you could be right here. Your report's been in queue for a couple days now, and these people just. You know, the reports take priority over yours. That's essentially what the program does. They just kind of skip the queue of all the other reports, and these people, since they're accurate or considered more accurate by the moderators or the algorithm that decides who's in it, they're the ones who get to skip the line and all that. You get the point now. Um, now, the negative, of course, is right now reporting isn't incentivized in a way where it's like, I, I see many people just, you know, blatantly saying bad words. Sorry, I was playing on my mic if you heard noises or anything. But it's kind of like if there's someone saying something bad. Like, I've seen people bypass bad words. Like, uh, I'm not saying them, never mind. <laughs> um, basically, really bad words and just bad words in general are being bypassed. And uh, yeah, honestly, how I feel about that is no one's really incentivized to report. I don't report anyone for saying bad words or really doing anything. Like, it's extremely rare to see me report somebody, mostly because you don't. There's no point in reporting. Um, I'm gonna refer to Chloe Games' video here. She made one about a year ago where she reported an alternate account, and uh, basically, her her alternate account was not banned, even though it had like a bunch of reports. And I'm pretty sure she broke some rules on that account or something in order for it to get reported. I'm pretty sure that account probably isn't still banned to this day, even though the video has like a million views or something. Um, anyway, main point of why I'm referring to that is because I feel like that's something that could result as a or because of the fast track program. Um, you see how it says making good report abuse reports. That means that if you report somebody and Roblox doesn't deem it, you know, a good report, they they won't. They'll, they'll just not put you in there, but it's kind of like basically if you see someone cheating in a game Roblox doesn't have enough proof for it So they don't ban them and then you you don't get a good report abuse thing So you don't get put in the program anyway, even though they are cheating. It's kind of like that in a way also I've seen so many people break rules blatantly and they're still not banned to this day 
So it's kind of like, what's the point of reporting in the first place? Now, I know this is an argument a lot of people bring up about reporting, but reporting kind of does nothing on Roblox now, because there's so many people reporting, it's like, they can't really keep up to all of it, and I heard that they use bots to, you know, ban people now or something, and I mean, I can't really blame them, there's like, so many people on Roblox right now that are active, and then, you know, they can't really handle all of that unless they just hire like a bunch of people to do it, which, I mean, I'm not against. That would be pretty cool, having actual people go through that. But that's aside from the point. Basically, all fast tracking does is it makes certain people um, get their reports through faster. I heard of somebody who was in the program. They reported someone for being really rude or nasty in-game. The dude got the dude being nasty got banned like 20 minutes later. And then since um, they were being fa they're in the fast track program, their side, or I don't know if it was their side or someone else, but apparently, like, someone else in the game also got banned. I think it was their friend. And they got a ban as well for, you know, telling them to go away or something. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't... I don't know. It was a while ago that I heard this story. And I don't know. Basically, it's kind of interesting how this will function. And I'm kind of interested in seeing where this goes. Um, let me know how you guys feel down in the comments. Do you guys think that this is going to be a good feature for Roblox or a bad feature? Um, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, goodbye.